What's up, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Pet Shop Boys, and we're going back to their 1986 debut album, Please, though this is a tune from the Deluxe Edition because it's a bonus track, I assume a B-side from one of the singles from their debut album, Please, 1986. And the tune we're going to listen to is a disco mix. Uh, yes, the disco mix of That's My Impression. <clears throat> I'm intrigued. Uh, obviously, you know, That's My Impression. In fact, I'm thinking about it now. Uh, Izzy, I think, was saying, or was it Seb? I think it was maybe Izzy, um, was saying that a lot of their songs are a bit cryptic in that uh, Neil often uses very commonly spoken phrases like, you know, that's the story, or, you know, um, again, that's my impression. It's like, well, that's what, I, you know, that's my impression. That's the impression I got upon interacting with this person or whatever it was. So, yeah, apparently a lot of their songs have this sort of, like, common turn of phrase um, wording such that, you know, it could go some different ways. You get a sense, you know, you're familiar with the way people use the phrase, um, but, you know, it, it doesn't give you much beyond that. It's still a bit cryptic. Um, so this kind of feels like that. That's my impression. Um, it's a phrase that people often say, and, you know, they say it when assessing something else, but also seemingly relating that to a third party um, uh, relative to whatever they're assessing. I guess, you know, you could say it about someone. It's like, well, you want my opinion? X, Y, Z, and that's my impression. Um, but yeah, it, it's a common phrase that people use. So again, it makes me think of that. So um, yeah, hopefully I'm attributing that right. If I'm not, I do apologize. Uh, but yeah, a disco mix, I expected to have a, you know, that sort of the, the thumping disco kick drum and perhaps a sort of a funky groove to a dance floor sound. So uh, let's find out. This is Pet Shop Boys. The tune is That's My Impression and it's the disco mix, a bonus tune included on a deluxe version of their 1986 album, Please.
Sometimes they'll like cut in audience like sounds, you know, to make it to give it that aspect. But was that really a live performance? Um, amazing. Again, I, a couple of you have mentioned, and I'm now feeling that uh, very strongly that their B sides are like really strong, and in many cases, like wow, that could be a, you know, a great album track. Um, that definitely had that feel. Now, admit it didn't so much feel like a disco mix. It felt more like you know, an energetic, like, synth mix. Like, it, it felt more 80s than it did 70s. Um, but again, like, it did have that sort of steady beat, and there were some, you know, there were some elements that you could maybe interpret as being reflective of disco stylings. Um, but yeah, it struck me more as just a straight-up uh, synth pop tune. And again, the there's so many elements there I love, but two things in particular I'll focus on. One, the bass. The whole tune, I just could not stop hearing the excellent, dynamic, super fast and sort of staccato um, bass, which really drove the track. But secondly, I said about halfway through that, like, oh, he just took his vocals to, like, the next level, and he was, like, singing some of the same lines, but he went to another level. The last minute and a half or so, he went to this third level that was, like, it was orders of magnitude farther away from layer two than layer two had been away from layer one. So I love how he came in passionately. I've mentioned before, there are times when uh, Neil's singing where it feels like I'm being, like, I'm, like, like listening to someone's dream, like I'm being sort of like, you know, transfixed, but in a sort of sleepy kind of dreamy way. Um, but he can go to like this really passionate kind of emotional delivery. And that the last part of that song, I felt that more keenly than I think in any other song previously. So again, big ups to this duo, just an amazing group. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you do hear more disco there than I hear. Um, but once again, shout out to those of you who mentioned that their B-sides are great because I'm already picking up on that. So anyway, let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Peace.